All right, so I'm just gonna make a quick video on how I set up the Elgato Stream Deck to work with the Warrior Trading Sim. Now you could do this for any tool or platform that has good hotkey availability. Uh, so for example, Thinkorswim, maybe not the best because at least in my opinion, they don't have very good hotkey availability. When I set up a profile for Thinkorswim, I only had like seven buttons. It wasn't even very useful. And so with Thinkorswim, I just use the buttons on their platform and I use my mouse. So, you know, you can do what you want there, but that's what I've done. Now I do have a profile for, profile for the Warrior Trading Sim. You can of course set up a new profile. You can come in here, name it. I'm just gonna delete this though, cause we don't need it. Now, when you are adding your buttons here, what you want is to come to the system drop down, grab the hotkey and drag it in. Now, one thing about the hotkeys, when you initially drag them in, if you type something in the title here, which I recommend doing so that you like have, you know, you know what each of these are supposed to be, but you'll notice I don't have the title showing up. And that's because you have the option to click on this text right here and click show title. So that goes away. Now, once you do that for one of them, I'd recommend copying that and pasting that everywhere. You're going to need hotkeys just so that you don't have to come into each one and click on the T and then click on show title. So that's just a little speed hack for you. Now, once you've done that and you've got the hotkeys across all your rows here, the next thing you're going to need to do is to actually set up the hotkeys in the warrior trading sim. So for that, you're going to come to view settings and hotkeys. Okay. So with your hotkeys, what you're going to want to do is set them up however you want. And literally what you set as your hotkey doesn't matter at all because you're not actually going to be using your keyboard. Now, if you do plan on using your keyboard, you know, if you have to travel and you don't have your stream deck with you, um, or for whatever reason it's not working or whatever, or you like to use your keyboard too, I don't know, then yeah, maybe you want to make sure these are keyboard uh, shortcuts that you would be comfortable using as well. Um, mine are kind of, I could use them. Uh, they made somewhat sense to me in my head when I made them, but I never remember what they are because I always have my stream deck. So you can set these hotkeys to whatever you want and the actions to be whatever you want. Now I'm not going to go through how to set up different things. I'll show one of them. So for example, this is a buy 500 at the ask plus an offset. Um, and then I pretty much named it the same thing. I gave it a hotkey. Most everything is the default and I use load and go which means it'll execute your action right away. So I don't have to just load it and then hit buy or sell, which you could do. Um, I set it to load and go, okay? So let's cancel out of that. Uh, once you get your hotkeys set up, you can kind of just leave this off to the side here, then come back to your stream deck. And now, so for example, this buy 500 at the ask, I just have to look, okay, what was my hotkey for that? Oh, it was shift one. Okay, let me come over here and hit shift one and now I've set that up. And then you wanna pick a matching icon for your uh, sticker pretty much on your stream deck. Now how you do that, I can come to here, set from file, and I've created all these custom ones, right? So what you can do is create new icon, it'll load up this key creator. It does take a while to load, so don't worry about that. I've already got it loaded up, and now what you can do is pick a background, or you know, be creative, do whatever you want, um, pick a color for that. You know, you can go green, some sort of green, pick a font you like, and then you can grab text and throw it in there. And then, um, buy, buy, buy. <laughs> uh, you can fit it to the width and that'll automatically size it, fit it to the height. That'd be weird. Fit it to the width. You can do whatever you want here. Um, you can change the color of it. You could make it like a, a blue. I don't think we can make it bold. I think the only thing we can do is change the type of font. So you could, I don't know what these are gonna look like. That's the thing though, you have to kind of experiment what you like. There you go, that one's kind of nice. And then hit this and, so there we go. There's our sticker and then we just save key and we download it to wherever we want. I created a folder for it, um, which I forget where that folder is. Is it here, downloads? No, I don't see it. Um, let me come to my file, set from file, document stream deck icons. Okay, so I created a folder for this, documents, stream deck icons. You can see I have other icons. I've got like a Rocket League one, OBS stuff, Spotify, 
um, but then I've got like all my trading ones in one folder, right? And then I could just save this here, buy, buy, buy. And now when I come to here and I hit set from file, I can select my buy, 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 open it up and there we go, buy, buy, buy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set that back. There we go. Now you notice all mine have the same green and red color and the same font and all that. The way I did that was if I go to uh, documents, stream deck icons trading I have this text file and this is just the URL this is my green color my red color and my font because that way I don't forget and that way if I make any in the future they can be consistent um, I honestly should have done the same gray color but I could just replace those if I needed and add a new gray RGB color down here so what you can do is I don't know if you can copy this but if I X out here uh, if I come to the creator here, um, no, I can't. So what I would do is have this open just to the side here like that and then come to pick my color. And let's say I'm changing my green color to be the right green color. I would just do 0, 219, and 106. And honestly, I should have made that like a better, you know, one to do so 225 maybe and 100 is going to be roughly the same exact thing but they're easier numbers to remember and type in so you do whatever you want there but that's just a, a hint how I remember which greens to use and then you can, of course save the key again and then set it here so yeah you just have to do that over and over and over and then finally in order to be able to use this um, how I have my profile set up if I come to a warrior trading sim um, I had to set this to be the right application so you have to hit other and then what you want to do is usually it's going to be you know in program files maybe something like that now what I know is that if I hover over this I see base gray right here so I'm not sure why I think it's like a profile thing with the um, sterling trader platform but if I search for base gray or maybe let's just try base. Oh, it, it's searching for um, yeah. No, let's. I don't want to do that. Let me just go to. I want to search my whole computer. Searching a quick access. Really? Can I just <laughs> search my computer? Thank you. Okay, so it looks like I want to do base gray. Is that what it was? Oh, there was not a space. So let me get rid of that space. Let's search for that. And it should come up. Working on it, working on it. Windows is so slow to search. But it should come up. If not, let's see if we can find the path for it. Um, so let me go PC. OK, program files. Um, let's check for like warrior trading, maybe. No, let's check pro program files 86. Oh, Warrior, that's probably it. Warrior Trading Sim, Base Gray EXE. So I know that that's probably the one I want because when I right click on that, it's got Base Gray there. Now you could probably do this and this would just be a different profile, but I just click that, hit open, and now it matches this profile to uh, my Warrior Trading Sim. So now if I X out, and I can't have this open, um, but if I X out here, X out here, and then close my Stream Deck configuration, and then I click on my Warrior Trading Sim, you can't see it here, but my, my Stream Deck automatically loads up my Warrior Trading Sim profile on my Stream Deck. And then if I click on my desktop, um, or click on something else, I guess, then it will go ahead and load up my, my default profile. But if the active window is a Warrior Trading Sim window, it loads up my uh, appropriate profile in the stream deck which is really handy now finally the last thing you have to do when you first start up your computer or you restart the stream deck or whatever you're gonna have to quit this stream deck okay and then you are going to have to search for it here stream deck run as administrator and hit yes because the war and then X out of the configuration so that it'll work now if you and just, just so you're aware, when you X out of the configuration, it's still running. 
you're just not seeing the window. So just a heads up there. So since the warrior trading sim is running as admin, the stream deck needs to run as admin as well in order to be able to use the hotkeys. And now you can see I can increment and decrement my position size. Um, I could enter a trade right here and then get out of the trade right away. I just executed uh, two orders you can see here, bought at 419, sold at 417, whatever, lost a couple cents. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it's just a sim. So you can, um, I could just hit buy here. I could, I could get in and then, uh, you know, it's flushing down. So I, I flattened market and so it sold seven cents below where I bought. But again, it's just a sim just showing off how this works. It's really nice because now I've just got one hand on my mouse and I select which window I want. If I need to change this, I just type in the new ticker and then my hand moves back to my stream deck. I know where all my buttons are. It's, you know, you get used to it like a keyboard. I don't even have to look at it. I just hit the right keys and my trades go through without me having to hit like shift one or shift, shift control E4 and you know, crazy stuff on your keyboard. You just hit one button that executes the full hotkey for you. So really handy. I hope this helped. And again, you can use this for the warrior trading sim um, if you're a part of that or you could use it for any application which has good availability for hotkeys. Thanks.